Happy Wednesday, guys. What's up? Welcome in to another episode of the Daily Juice podcast with me, Matt Peralta at Sports Talk. Matt, to follow me on Twitter. You guys know this podcast being brought to you by BetMGM. $1,000 first bet offer for new users available right now with that promo code JUICE at BetMGM.com. Okay, so a flat night. I ended up down personally because I tried a couple of different things. We did some second period overs that did not come in that parlay that I put out. Man, Connor McDavid hit the post at the end of the second period that would have cashed my plus 114 parlay. So that didn't come in. I had the under, though, in the wild. That did come in. It wasn't official. It was a lean. So that did come in. And then I had another bet that I missed and I'm blanking on that I missed on. But we got the first period under for the Wild. We got that right. We got the over for Nashville and Vancouver. We got that right. The Creighton Blue Jays did not come in for us on that. And then the Blues game went under as well there. We had the second period over. We had the game over. Went 0-2 in that game. Went 2-0. and Actually, went 2-1 and on the Wild game. But officially 2-2. Two and two. So... That takes my record to 21 and 11 in the NHL since coming back to the Daily Juice. We're nearly up 10 units on hockey. College basketball, I fell to 8 and 2 over the last 10 games, and my overall record is 13 and 7, up 5.3 units on that. So we've done really well with this college basketball and NHL slate and tradition and I'm not going to stop now. I got two NHL bets. I got one college basketball bet. I'm not going to go too heavy today. I'm just going to have three units in play today. Not going to have four or five. I'm going to try to pull myself back a little bit from what I did yesterday and got a little crazy. I don't know. I had like 11 bets going yesterday or something. So it was a little bit too much, but I'm going to scale it back here just a little bit. There's not a lot of things going on right now. A lot of college basketball, but nothing that really jumps out at me that makes me really fall in love. I do have one college basketball play in the Big East that we'll get to here in just one second. But I do want to tell you about Betting Pros Premium. Somebody sent me a DM on Instagram yesterday and asked me, am I buying picks if I go and subscribe to Betting Pros Premium? That is not the case, okay? This is not a pick buying subscription service, okay? Okay. We're trying to tell you we're going to give it away to one lucky person who's going to win the full year, the free year, upgrade your account to a free year here. But this is how you win. You subscribe to the Betting Pros YouTube channel. You comment underneath. I think on Sunday there were 80 comments on the video. Last time I checked, it's incredible. If you do, when you do, you could win a free upgrade to Betting Pros Premium, whether you're looking for access to exclusive picks. Now, when it says exclusive picks, it's more or less stuff that's behind the paywall, but it's not really buying picks, as what, at least what I've been told. It's not in the same vein as like a handicapping service by any means. Top-rated player props, that's where we've talked about it before. We've talked about the Betting Pros bet, uh, Prop Bet Cheat Sheet, which is phenomenal, or a custom analysis of your betting performance. Betting Pros Premium has the tools to help you cash more bets, and that's the real key here. We're talking about tools to help you become a more profitable better. Plain and simple, if you don't want to wait for the giveaway, you can sign up today at bettingpros.com slash upgrade and start betting smarter, not harder. Somebody asked me, is that a way for me to get credit? Yeah, I mean, it is. It, it's a way of getting credit. I've told you before, you can go buy a hat or a t-shirt in the Betting Pros shop, which is very easy, bettingpros.com slash shop to get in to buy Daily Juice t-shirt, buy a Daily Juice hat, Daily Juice hoodie, which you could use right now. I'm in the middle of a windstorm here in Las Vegas. It's insane. I'm like, we're like 70 mile per hour wind gusts. I'm in a hurricane. It's crazy right now going on in Vegas. But you can do that or you can subscribe to Betting Pros Premium. Really, whatever you do, whatever you contribute is really appreciated. Join the Discord channel. You know, use BetMGM. Use the offer from BetMGM with the promo code JUICE. All different ways of coming in if you want to say thanks for what we're doing here. But remember, I I'm pretty clear on this. Like, I've been fortunate. So we've had five winning days of the last eight. And the three days or six winning, no, sorry, six winning days of the last nine. And the three losing days weren't losing days. They were all flat. <laughs> so I haven't had like a one for four night yet. I'm going to have that soon. Okay, that's that's coming. You always cool off. 
Hockey's going to change. The NHL, we're heading down the stretch here. The last 15 or so games will be different than what we've done here. So it's you got to eat when you can, essentially, is what I'm saying right now, because things could twist and turn very quickly. So I don't like to judge myself on my record. I don't like to pound my chest on my record, but I will laugh at the guy who decided on the first day of the heater to go and write a review saying that I always lose, <laughs> which I found to be pretty funny. It's like, oh, how ironic. On the first day of a nine-day heater, this guy is writing on the Apple Podcast review page all about how bad I am. Okay, I appreciate that. That's another way to say thank you. Go subscribe on Apple and leave a review, positive or negative, leave a review. I do read them. I do think it's fun to see the feedback from you guys. This podcast yesterday was ranked 52nd on Apple Podcasts for sports. That's incredible. Or some, you know, some big, big names, ESPN type names for podcasts, what, what we've been doing from an audience perspective. So uh, I, I really thank you for listening, paying attention, watching, being a part of the juice, going into the Discord channel. Discord channel has been humming last couple of days. It's been seeing a lot of new faces, new names pop up. Very, very cool stuff. That's bettingpros.com slash chat or underneath me. If you're watching on YouTube, there is a direct link to join. It's free, right? Everything I am a part of, I am free. My other show is free. This podcast is free. Everything I do is free for that very reason, because it's very important to me that I want you guys to have full access to all of my content. I don't ever want to charge my audience for my content. So what we do is sponsors and supporting those sponsors is how you say thank you. Okay, enough of that. Three bets. Let's talk about Hellebuck up against Sorokin. That, those are the proposed goaltenders for the Islanders and the Winnipeg Jets. Total's five and a half. Arr. If it was six, I'd bet it. Five and a half makes me nervous. I feel like a 4-2 final is coming in this game. Islanders have been scoring. I'm a little afraid. So here we are in the first period again. Our old friend. The wild 19-2 run. We bet that yesterday. Full unit. I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to do it with the Jets and the Islanders. We've got minus 105. It was plus 115 yesterday. The books gave us plus money on the wild. Thanks. Appreciate it. Keep doing that. This is minus 105 to under one and a half goals. So the Winnipeg Jets are seven and three to the first period under over their last 10 games. Second worst team in the NHL this season. Islanders are five and five. So they're flat. But they're the fifth worst team in the NHL to a first period over. First meeting of the year. And we've got a Hellebuck was insane against the Rangers. If your book offers a Hellebuck save prop, you might want to bet it. I don't know what the number's going to be. But over the last three games, Connor Hellebuck has had 32, 28, and 50 saves. The Islanders shoot the puck a lot. Could have a lot of save opportunities here for Connor Hellebuck tonight if you want to bet that prop. I don't really have access to that. I got to look around see if I can find that. But Hellebuck over, I definitely would take that over save prop for Connor Hellebuck. But the official bet, Hellebuck and Sorokin under one and a half goals in the first period. Let's keep this going here with two of the worst teams in the NHL to a first period over. Over, sorry, under one and a half at minus 105 for 1.05 units. Second bet. Only three games. Dallas is taking on Chicago. Now, we're going to get Wedgwood in net, most likely. If we get Ottinger, it's phenomenal. Okay, I love this bet even more if we get Ottinger, but Wedgwood is good enough. Marisic is the goaltender for Chicago. He is better on the road than at home. His, his goals against at home is over four. On the road, is 3.65. Last night, Chicago beat the Golden Knights 3-2. to two, And... Even though Chicago is 5-4-1 and one to the over over their last 10 games, they're 2-2 two and two over the last four, including last night going under. And Dallas is 9-1 at home to the under over the last 10 games. It's 6. It's a big push potential. It's minus 110 on both sides. I would love it if we get Ottinger. I don't know. It looks like it's Wedgwood, but if it's either or, I'm okay with it. Under 6 taking six and under here for Dallas and Chicago. Hopefully we get a little 3-2 game like last night between Vegas and Chicago. 3-2 final. Under six for Dallas and Chicago. 3-1 works too, by the way, on that for 1.1 units. 
And finally, we're going back to the college basketball ranks in the Big East. And Providence and UConn, game of the night in the Big East. Big for Marquette because Marquette just beat the Creighton Blue Jays, who, by the way, look, they weren't going to cover, but they kind of got screwed by the referees there at the end of the game. I don't know, man. That was a turnover. That shouldn't have been a foul. And then they called a foul with 1.9 to go, and then they didn't call a foul on the half-court shot, which was clearly a foul, but they didn't want to give three free throws because they don't want to make a call there. So they make a call under the basket, but not at half court. Yeah, not a good look for referees, but here we are. So the Jays lose. Marquette wins. UConn try to keep pace. Providence try to keep pace, although they're probably out of it. Big game here in Storrs, Connecticut. So Providence is 5-7 and seven to the over on the road, but they're 3-2 and two over their last five in their last two games have gone over. UConn's 11-4 and four at home to the over this season. Nine and seven in Big East play. Now, Kempom has this total at 146, okay? Kempom also has this as an eight-point win. At seven and a half is the number for UConn tonight, laying it. Too many points. Eileen Providence. 142 and a half tonight in Vegas at Circus Sports is where I got it here. We're talking about a top 20 adjusted offensive efficiency matchup, both teams offensively. Both teams are highly efficient. We need both teams to hit their two-point shots tonight. They're both bad at the three, okay? But they have post players who love to play in the paint, and we need them to hit their bunnies tonight. Do not be missing shots. Hit the bunnies. In the first matchup, didn't happen. 73-61, the win for Providence. Game went under. It was 142. Game went under by eight points. Now we're here at 142.5 at UConn later in the year. Hopefully, better offensive efficiency for both teams coming up here in this one. UConn's the number one offensive rebounding team in the country. They should have success tonight on the glass up against Providence, who's a little bit undersized. They're physical, they're tough, but they're not as big as the two twin towers who will be up there for UConn. So I think UConn will get some extra chances. I don't know if I'm going to lay three possessions, though, with UConn. I think they do win, but I would lean towards Providence to cover. But I'm going to go against the numbers here a little bit. I'm going to bet the over. Some people are going to say bet the under. UConn's been in the big games against UConn and, uh, sorry, against, against Creighton and Marquette. UConn's been an under team. There's some truth to that. I'm going to take the over, go against this a little bit here. This is more of a field play and a Ken Palm follow to go over 142 and a half versus going under here, which I think a lot of pros are going to take the under in this game. 1.1 units, Providence, UConn, over 142 and a half. Let's see some points in the Big East here between these two teams. We might even get overtime to get us there easily. All right, three bets going here. If I add anything else, I'll tell you about it in the Discord channel. Probably not. I'm going to go a little bit light here on a Wednesday as we gear up for the NBA's return and other things coming into the weekend. I might even bet an XFL game. I don't know. We'll see how the weekend goes. Maybe, but I don't know. We'll see. We're going first period under one and a half goals tonight. Jets at the Islanders. Again, five and a half. You want to take the under that game, go ahead, but it's going to be a hell of a sweat. We are going under Dallas, under six against Chicago, 1.1 units. First bet is minus 105. This bet's minus 110. Minus 110 over 142 and a half. UConn in Providence. Three bets. Let's go two and one here tonight. Have another winning night for us here on a Wednesday. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt every single morning. The Daily Juice podcast being brought to you by BetMGM.